Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're taking out these, my brand new Alpha flies out for their test run at my marathon. to this awesome video about my marathon running shoes. So I've got a marathon coming up. I'm going to tell you about the shoes I'll be wearing, why I'm wearing them, and obviously today we're taking them out for a test run. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this run. We're going to get back to HQ. I'll tell you a little bit why I chose the shoe, uh, how it feels, all that sort of stuff. Some of my options. Also want to hear from you as well. So let me finish this run. We'll get back to HQ and then we'll get stuck in. Five miles done. Well, it's actually a little bit over. In the new Alpha Fly. Woo, right. I'm gonna go back, get shower, get changed, get some active fruit, and we'll talk about these shoes, why I'm picking them, all that sort of stuff. So I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to HQ. We are back from our five mile run in the Nike Alpha Fly, and I'll put them back up there. And the reason that is because these bad boys are now gonna stay on ice until marathon day. So like I said, uh, at the start of this video, we're gonna talk about why I picked that shoe, uh, all that sort of stuff, um, what I'm looking for in terms of my shoe for marathon day, a little bit about the Alpha Fly, that kind of stuff. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, um, these are my old pair of uh, Alpha Flies. Uh, this shoe I ran the uh, London Virtual Marathon in, uh, and I've done some other runs in them, and I've also started using this as a training shoe, um, but I've got those for race day, and I wanted to take them out today to sort of bed them in ready for race day, but I didn't want to do anything more than five miles because I, I just wanted to get them sort of, yeah, familiar with my feet, makes any sense, um, but I didn't want to sort of overuse them and I mean, that's like basically not even touch them, but overuse them ahead of race day. So I just want to literally, you know, like they do in a Formula One car. I think Formula One people, they do an installation lap. That is what I've done today. Okay, so here's my uh, Alpha Fly, uh, the uh, green and black one. So I've had these ooh, since they came out, I can't remember what. Uh, if you're new to Alpha Fly, we've got a big chunk of Zoom X. We've got the air zoom pods up the front. We've got a full length carbon plate. Uh, we've got the rubberized sort of forefoot with the exposed midsole uh, at the back. We've got the atom knit upper. It's slightly heavier than that, but it's not overly heavy. This thing is designed for marathons. Um, it is what Kipchoge wore to run under two hours in the marathon. Um, it is like a trampoline here that sort of goes like that onto this sort of hardness of the AirPods and then the plate just kicks you in. Uh, I've described it a few times as like a, a Bentley Bentayga, a big powerful SUV that just eats miles fast. This is what this is. Think Ferrari, think Bentley Bentayga, Porsche Cayenne. This is where we're going. So that's a little bit about the, the Alpha Fly. For me, it fits true to size. I've never had any problems with sizing. I know some people have. You've got a little bit of foam around the collar, so it's comfortable to a degree, but you're not wearing this for comfort. You're wearing this to run a marathon. So why the Alpha Fly? Well, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to be going for a 350 um, hour marathon. Now, I appreciate that's not particularly fast for some of you sort of super ninja elite runners out there. Um, <laughs> made me laugh. The, in the field that I'm running in, uh, like a third of it, the organizer told me, like they're sort of between like 
two hours something and three hours. So there's a lot of maniacs in there that run super quick. I'm not a fast, particularly fast runner. Um, that's not what 40 runs is about. We're the everyday runner. I train hard, I run hard, I try and do my best, I try and get better, I make mistakes along the way, but I try and get shoes to help me uh, along that journey. And that's why I've got the Alpha Fly. But I've gone for the Alpha Fly again because of the sort of success for me uh, uh, of running the sort of London uh, virtual marathon. Now I ran that in 358 in these, uh, in terrible conditions. Um, and it wasn't a um, sort of uh, a marathon set up. It wasn't a road-based marathon. We was running around the streets and it was just, yeah, anyway. So um, I'm hoping to beat that time. That's why I've gone for 350. Some of you people uh, were nice enough to write in the comments that you think I could do more and I appreciate that, but I try and keep my goals sort of realistic for me, right? Because uh, I'm not particularly good at marathons. I've said it a million times. I don't particularly enjoy them. I love training for marathons, but I don't particularly enjoy marathon um, and I'm not very good at them. I still don't feel like I'm very confident and comfortable at that level. I much prefer a half marathon. It's just me. Um, anyway, so uh, the Alpha Fly, I had some decisions to make. There was a few shoes out there. Uh, there's a few shoes that are gonna be incoming to me that I could pick as well. Um, but I've gone for the Alpha Fly because of the sort of confidence and comfort level of knowing the fact that I've done a marathon in them, that I've achieved the time that I wanted to achieve. And, and I understand the shoe a fair amount versus some of the other shoes. I was, I'm looking at it now. I was tempted to strap on the Pro um, for this one because it's a flat marathon distance and we're doing, we're doing laps, people. And if you're not seeing the half marathon video, I did like 56 laps in this shoe to get my half marathon time of 1.38 and change. Um, so I was actually really stuck between the two um, because I didn't want to put any of the new shoes that we've got coming in. There was no way I was going to running one of those. So I was kind of, I'm in an iron between these two, but no, I've stuck with the original plan, which was to go with the Alpha Fly, purely because of the sort of emotions that I have from running in the shoe. Now, what I thought would be cool today, actually, while we're talking about the Alpha Fly, is to see the difference. Now, this is a new shoe, right? It's not me out of, but this is a new shoe. I've ran, like I said, five miles only in this shoe, right? That's it, what we did today, which you've seen. Now, five miles in the shoe, that's it. So what I thought would be cool to do is, where's the tape measure? Now these things have got so, a sort of uh, high stack. I wanted to see if that shoe, how much if it's compressed at all versus this shoe. So I thought we'd do a little bit of science. I've got a tape measure and some scales. I haven't got a white jacket, otherwise we'd probably get proper scientific, but we're gonna measure it. Right, so I'm gonna go, see that line there? Right, that is five, just under five centimeters, people. Right along there, so. It's just under five centimeters, a pinch under five centimeters. Stay there. Has this got any, I wonder if that, look. That's been pushed forward, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah. But we will now, let's just uh, measure this. Onto the line. So no, it's, it's, it, this is, I'm doing it fair people. This has come down a little bit, but not much. So this is still, my, my th thought process was the fact that the Zoom X may have compressed. So there's definitely still plenty in this. So, but you know when people say about durability of Zoom X and all that sort of stuff, and I, I'm one of them, right? But in terms of actually, I thought that might have compressed down quite a bit. I've actually proved myself wrong now. So that's interesting. Right, so the other thing, is we're going to weigh them to see if they say if there's been any weight change. Now I've got Mrs. Fordy scales out here. She's not in at the moment, hence I've got them. So whatever you do, don't tell her. We know she doesn't watch the videos, so that's good news. But we're going to put them on. Right, so here we go. So I've laid it down flat. Oh, hang on. We've got a bit of a problem, Houston. Right, I sorted it. I think she's been mucking about them deliberately, so I don't use them. Right, so I'm putting the old one on. 241 grams, UK nine and a half. New one, 236. Now that's marginal, that's not a lot, is it? That's no difference, really, but it's a slight difference. Now, is this containing more mud, or has it maybe got more water in it, more moisture in it from where I've been running it still? I don't know. 236, same size, people. What did I say it was? 240 something, wasn't it? 
No, hang on. Yeah, 241. Interesting, isn't it? So there's a slight variation, marginal. It's not going to make a difference. I'm not talking about difference in running, but there's a slight difference in running in them. Um, in terms of this looks, right, and, and I'm uh, let me know, right? I mean, we're going to do this, actually, because this, to me, looks longer. This really does look longer. They're both a UK nine and a half people. Uh, I haven't got the, the things to prove it to you, but they're both, you'll have to trust me on this, they're both a UK nine and a half. Now we're going to measure it, because that definitely looks. Now, what's the best way to measure it? What do you think the fairest way to measure it? Should we go, should we go, this is so unscientific. And I don't even know what we're actually doing, really. So I'm going like that, right? So that is coming up at 14 inches. And I'm going like that, round there like that. Okay? 14 inches. I don't even know what I'm trying to prove here. But I just think it's interesting. <laughs> just geeking out. Right. Now look, that's over, look. See that? That's over. Look, it's the same point, that is over. This is definitely longer. This is definitely longer. Not much, but I thought it was. Look. It's definitely, definitely longer. Let's try and match that up like that. Yeah, look, even on the zoom pod bit, it just, it just looks a bit longer. Maybe it's the colourway, I don't know. What do you think? Am I going mad? Have I finally lost it? But yeah, it just feels a little bit longer. In the hill section, look. There. See it? Oh, I don't know if I'm, I'm in the way. I don't actually know what I've proved, but this is definitely slightly longer. So we know it's lighter and it's a pinch longer. Is that to do with the fact of that maybe shrunk? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> more importantly, now we've got that, I don't even know, I think, I think I've actually eaten too many Doritos, but anyway. Um, with that out of the way, um, today, what more importantly than anything else that I really noticed when I was running in it was the sort of the 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 active response from the Zoom X. There's nothing like putting on a pair of new racing shoes, and in particular the Alpha Fly. It really did feel ready to go. It was noticeable, and I mean, I don't know if you've seen the video, but I ran 20 mile. I uh, did a video on these the other day, and they felt awesome, and they felt you know great and all that sort of stuff. But putting these new ones on, maybe it was a month, but I really felt, yeah, I could really feel the Zoom X. I could really feel the pace in them. And I could really feel just, I know it was only five miles, but they just, I don't know, there's something about new shoes. Let me know in the comments. You know, like when you get in a new car and it smells awesome and you just, and it makes you feel great, right? It's one of the nicest places to be, a new car. Well, it was that kind of feeling of putting on a new shoe today, new marathon shoe. And it was that kind of sort of emotion that was coming through. It just felt like, okay, let's go and do this marathon. It, it was like a, yeah, it was a real confidence booster. And, and I think that's a good way to end the video. I know this has been a bit of a funny video, but um, I would really recommend if you're, if you're really looking for a time and you've got an A race and you've got a special shoe that you're gonna be using, definitely take it out there, do a bit of a warm up of it. Get that sort of positive vibes. And I think that's probably the biggest message I wanna give you. Get that sort of feel good factor from the shoe because I think on race day, you know, we talk about percentages. Um, I think that even just that couple of percent can make a big difference to your time. But that's it, people. I think I've actually lost the plot, um, but there you go. So that's the shoe I'm gonna be wearing on race day, the Alpha Fly, wish me luck. I'll catch you guys later.